Greetings and thank you for joining us today. This Christmas week, we're just taking time to look at various aspects of who Jesus is to us, what he means to us. And I'm just reminding us each day of one aspect of who Jesus is to us. And we ponder on it and we just look to him and say, thank you, Jesus. We really love you. You really mean all of this and much, much more to us. Today, I want to remind us about Jesus, our wonderful Savior. In Matthew chapter 1, verses 20 to 23, at the time of his birth, here's what Matthew records. But while he, that is Joseph, thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take you, Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. And she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. For he will save his people from their sins. So all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. So the angel gave Joseph a word, saying, Joseph, that which is born in Mary is of the Holy Spirit, and call his name Jesus, because he is the one who's going to save people from their sins. He's going to be the Savior. And thank God that Jesus Christ is our wonderful Savior to save us from sin, to save us from everything that came into this world because of the fall, because of Adam and Eve, and they sinned. And man fell from his original place that God gave him in that place of wonderful relationship, he fell. He fell into darkness. He plunged into death. He plunged into a separation from God. He plunged into being in bondage to Satan. He plunged into a realm of sickness and disease and oppression. He plunged into something God never intended for him. And it was such a desperate situation because man by his own efforts could never come out of it. There have been many wonderful people who've lived and sages and leaders and religious people and noble people, but no person could help bring man or humankind out of that darkness that we plunge into because of sin. No one could do it because no one was qualified to do it. We were all born in sin, and so every man, every woman since Adam had to pay for our own sins. But here comes God, says, I will step into your darkness and I will bring you out. I'll bring you out. I'll put you in a place much better. I'll put you in a place where you can be sons and daughters of God. And that's what Jesus did. And that's why he is Savior. There's no one else, no other man, no other woman whoever stepped into our world, who could do that or has ever done that for us. So Jesus Christ came 2,000 years ago. He died on the cross. He broke the, he paid for all our sins. He broke the power of sin. He broke the power of Satan. And he made a way for us to come out of this darkness, come into this wonderful light in the kingdom of God, and to be born as sons and daughters of God and have this place as children of the Most High God. He saved us. And all it takes is for you and me to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and we will be saved. We will receive God's free gift of salvation. And that's what's happened to us, we who have believed in Jesus. And today, we want to take a moment to say, Lord, thank you for being that wonderful Savior, for bringing my life out of this darkness into this marvelous light and into being a son or a daughter 
of Almighty God. Let's look to him and say, thank you for being my wonderful Savior. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you would so love us, so, hum so humble yourself to step in to our world of darkness, our world of sin and degradation, and then make a way for us to come out of it through your sacrifice so that today we could be in your marvelous light as sons and daughters, our sins washed away, our life clean, delivered from Satan's power. We thank you. We give you thanks for being our wonderful Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.